Alright guys, so this is something that was brought to my attention. This isn't a confirmed thing or anything. That's why I'm not going like, oh, guaranteed five-star ticket is coming. But I thought it was really interesting. Uh, basically, for the 20 million download celebration, if you guys do not remember, we got a free five-star servant. And then for the anniversary after that, we were able to actually get a, another five-star servant. But it also included limited servants at that point. And so when I saw this get brought up over on my Twitter, uh, basically, I'll just do the translate thing right but it just says like oh yeah the 30 million download campaign is very very close we're on 27 right now and the interview that like the fgo people talked about they were like we really want to go even larger with the 30 million download campaign and for me immediately like you know fireworks are going off in my head one of the biggest things we got for the 20 million download campaign was this free five star and so i kind of just wanted to do a little bit of speculation do a little bit of talking and get some thoughts from the community to think all right well if they're going to be going bigger right for the 30 million download campaign or at least they would like to what are some of the things that we could actually see for that 30 million download campaign now do keep in mind this is not going to be anytime soon because as you'll kind of see we average about two download campaigns a year right like about on average we get a couple but i mean 2020 we we got like four of them we we got a lot during this year but you can see like 2021 we got two 2022 we got you know two as well we've only had one at the beginning of the year over here uh when we got the Ereshka Gal altar skin over there so who knows that we're pretty late in the year we're we're in August, so like I don't know if we're going to be seeing like two more download campaigns during the year. Uh, I suspect maybe we'll get another one in maybe September, October-ish, right? And then probably next year, we'll see the actual 30 million download campaign. Now, one of the main things that a lot of people talk about for the next uh, free five star that we're going to be getting people really want to see some limited servants be put on there because now we have story lock servants on there, right? We never thought that they were going to throw on story lock servants because you know, that's kind of the incentive to go summon for those guys is that they're on the story banner. It's like the only reason anyone would ever try to touch that banner is to get the story lock servants. And it's why say on Morgan's first banner, it's like, oh my goodness, Caster Koo is coming back. He's story lock. This is a great time to go ahead and try to get him NP5. Or think about when say like Bedivere comes around. It's like, oh, he's a very, very strong uh, single target saber that everybody has at NP1. But now that he's available, I'm going to try to summon on this banner to get the three star, right? Even just the three star story lock servants have a lot of pull to them. In fact, there have been some people I've seen that have kind of gone around like thinking about what they want to get for like, say the destiny order summon and stuff like that, because they're like, well, do I want to throw on this story lock servant that I really don't have the ability to get normally? Because you could throw on like Artoria or something, but like Artoria is on every banner. So I've seen some people actually discuss it like, well, I'm actually going to throw uh, this servant on there because I actually have a better chance of now kind of getting them because they're story locked, right? Hopefully I'm able to snag them now because who knows the next time I'll be able to summon them outside of like uh, Valentine's if they're a female servant or White Day if they're a male servant. Because that's one of the few times that they just bring all of like the story locked uh gendered servants back for one of those events so limited servants i would normally have said no i don't think that's ever going to be a possibility i would have said that in the past but because of what they've been doing for the eighth anniversary um if you didn't see my video i did one covering the eighth anniversary gssr and they took off a lot of servants from that no longer do we just have every single servant available on the gssr and they kind of put a lot of those over on the destiny order thing to kind of i'm assuming drive people over there because they were willing to do that they were willing to split up a lot of the more limited servants in the game part of me believes that like okay maybe they won't put castoria or koyanskaya oberon merlin people like that probably aren't going to be on there but as far as some other limited servants go some guys I don't know who who's like a, a saber that would come to the top of my head that's limited sigurd i guess maybe or maybe musashi while they are like popular right everybody loves musashi but even though she's popular she's not like game breakingly good or like raiko which i guess now raiko is really strong because he just got a buff on jp we'll talk about that in a couple of days but you know these servants that are not going to break the bank so to speak if they go ahead and make them available as free servants and a lot of people are going to like that right or you could toss someone like iskandar on there right a fan favorite character not particularly good you could probably even get away with putting someone like gilgamesh you really just none of the supports and i think that actually could be a real thing i don't want to get anybody's hopes up but they do seem to kind of have a good idea of what the strong servants are because they 
cut a lot of them out of the GSSR. Like, understand, they took Draco off, they took Merlin off, they took Scotty off, they took a lot of these very powerful servants away, and then they stuck someone like Oberon on the only 1 in 5 chance for the GSSR, so they clearly knew how strong he was, and they still left people like Castoria and such as well, but, you know, they clearly have this understanding of what servants are insanely good and what servants are also very popular right and they kind of chose to keep them off the gssr so if they have that knowledge i'm no longer completely opposed to the idea that they actually might throw a couple of limited servants on there because again if you're saying like oh man for the 30 million download campaign like the people that are in charge of fgo are telling us in an interview that they want to go bigger for the next you know milestone campaign right because you know it's a multiplicative thing of 10 right those are always like super huge right it's like 30 40 50 those are probably all going to be very crazy download campaigns if you're telling me that you want to go even harder on this next download campaign then surely not only are we going to probably see a guaranteed five star right? i would think this is pretty free uh but they might actually throw some really nice limited servants on there now obviously again we're probably about a year away from that happening right uh, if it happens anytime like in similar intervals like let's say i don't know the 28 million download campaign happens in october and then the 29th is like march or something right we could see 30 closer to the end of the year probably maybe after anniversary or actually it'd be really cool if it was before anniversary you have like this ability to go ahead and get a limited servant and then, you, you know, you could kind of base your GSSR and other stuff off of that. Although that might be a little too nice. I don't know if they're going to be like, yeah, man, here, take this free limited servant that might affect whether or not you pull on certain GSSRs or not. For instance, if they throw Gilgamesh on one and you're like, oh, I'm going for the GSSR for Gilgamesh. If they throw that ticket for you beforehand, then now you can kind of alter what you're going to pull on. I imagine the devilish people over at Lysengel who kind of want their money. I'm assuming they're going to give you the five star servant afterwards right to kind of be like oh maybe you should go pull on this gssr or something right so it doesn't really mess up anything like that but i would love to hear guys' thoughts in the comments down below because you know i saw this come into my twitter and i was like this is a really cool thing to discuss because i don't really see a lot of people on na talking about say interviews for fgo or they don't really talk about a lot of the stuff that happens on jp most players go figure are going to be na players right you're going to play the language you can probably read but because stuff like this occasionally comes my way or i do keep up with some of the different interviews like say for nasi writing lost belt six and uh some of the stuff that he talks about with lost belt seven i do like to follow the little inner workings of the game to see uh kind of what they're thinking about as they're making the game you know stuff like this will come my way every now and then and this is one that i was like this is potentially very big now there's obviously like the the meme it's like well that's really cool but as an na player i gotta wait three years for that but you know let's fingers crossed and i'm never gonna give up hope that maybe we we close that down to maybe like a year or something there was also a um I believe it was Albert on the NA stream where he was saying at one point that he kind of wanted things to speed up a little bit over on NA, but I think Albert's just like the spokesperson. I don't think he's actually in charge of anything. So him wanting to speed things up versus Lasenga wanting to speed things up might actually not correlate at all. <laughs> that might not have any uh, connection, but it at least shows that, hey, maybe instead of being like, wow, that's crazy, Summer Morgan, that'll be nice in two years, right? <laughs> I'm like, that'll be crazy you know it's like oh the new summer servants are super high we're getting all the fey guys and everything uh two years away maybe we could shorten that down to a year or i don't know let's take a page out of like most of the other mobile games right like yeah like arc knights it's like six months behind the cn version dokkan's like three months kind of but they have certain celebrations that get delayed for like nine months out of the year but they're still relatively close you see new goku popping up you know you can expect it in a couple of months i'm hoping fgo can kind of follow some of those tracks and maybe speed things along because then stuff like this is immediately more impactful for na instead of it being like oh, i'm gonna forget about this whenever this happens right or you know we get like a new sr ticket and people are like that'll be great i'll uh, decide on who i'm gonna get in two years right because uh, if you guys don't know, we have an SR ticket coming up, and there have been people that have been waiting for like two years for that, being like, I can finally pick up Salter when the four-star ticket comes in two years. But I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'd love to get your guys' opinion, especially if you're more of just an NA player, how you feel about it. If you're playing JP, I gotta imagine you're a little bit more excited like myself. But, you know, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you guys ever find cool stuff that's ever happening, right, then you think I should discuss it, feel free to send me that in like the Discord, or you can 
DM it to me on Twitter because I love finding out about stuff like this. I try to follow all the little inner workings of FGO that I can because I just like to know how they're running the game and, you know, it's just interesting to me. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. You guys have yourselves a nice day. Peace. Late, guys.